Hi, I'm Oblissi. So, we got a Battle Spot doubles uh, Wi Fi match here in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Uh, the top team is his team, my team is along the bottom. Um, I picked uh, Suicune, Kangaskhan, Landorus, and. Oh no, I chose at the last second to go into Amoongus instead. Um, I did this, I, so my lead was because I felt like Suicune threatened his entire team very, uh, very well, any of his leads pretty much. Uh, I felt like he threatened. Uh, I chose uh, Rotom because he had a lot of things that Rotom could resist. He had the Heatran, he had the, uh, he's good against the Thunderous, uh, he's good against uh, the Sylveon. And then at the last second, I went into Amoongus because I was uh, very afraid of all the damage he could potentially deal if I didn't have Amoongus with me. So, the match starts off and I'm like, okay, uh, what do I want to do here? And I figured the best option would be to fake out to the Landorus and see if I could Ice Beam it. Uh, hopefully I would win the speed tie if he chose to fake out my Kangaskhan. Um, I had a bit of trouble, see I was worried about the speed tie potential here, because he could fake out my Kangaskhan, and then his Landorus could U-turn, and then I'd be boned. Uh, I chose to risk it, um, on the off chance his Kangaskhan went for something more ballsy, like a power-up punch. Um, so I thought, uh, actually it meant he won the speed tie when he Mega Evolved first. And that's not what it meant, apparently, because he didn't even choose to use a priority move. So, that was interesting. Anyway, so I do get the fake out off, and Landorus dies. Um, and then hit, or I get the fake out off, and then he flinches. And then his Mega Kangaskhan goes for a low kick. Uh, and I don't think the crit was needed to kill me. Uh, the two, a double low kick probably would have killed my Kangaskhan anyway. Although I didn't see, I'll admit, I did not see a low kick coming. I guess it's meant for other Mega Kangas. Anyway, his Landorus immediately dies uh, because of my Ice Beam on Suicune. So, was this a good trade? I don't know. I don't think it was the best trade. Uh, I lost my pretty, my biggest offensive threat. The rest of my guys are moderate, like either like Suicune and Rotom, which are Su Rotom's more of a damage dealer, but Suicune is like a tank that does a little bit of damage on the side. So switching in Amoongus here, horrible spot. Um, Amoongus loses to Thunderous a hundred times out of a hundred. So I was like, hmm, what do I do here? I could Rage Powder, make sure they hit me, get something off on uh, Suicune. Uh, I could switch into Rotom, take the Taunt, and hope uh, Suicune could take whatever damage this Mega Kangaskhan had to throw at me. So uh, I knew Mega Kangas or Suicune would be tanky enough to deal with whatever Mega Kanga threw at me, and I was basically going to go, hmm, I could take whatever Mega Kangaskhan throws at me, get a Citrus Berry off, and then Scald, and hope to god I burn. And then if I don't burn, I still think Rotom would able, be able to do a bunch of damage, because I think Scald would do a lot of damage. Um, now, I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a lucky scenario here, because, so, he, obvi he goes for the very obvious Taunt. I, th I think a better play would have actually been to, see, Taunt's the safe play, but he could have gone for the uh, damaging move onto my Suicune. So he goes for a double edge here. It actually does much less than I thought it would to my Suicune. Uh, so, I guess he has double edge to make up for the fact that he might not have power up punch. So then he takes a bit of damage from the recoil, and then I get my Scald off, and Scald does a nice hefty chunk and burns him. So Kangaskhan, whew, not out of the picture obviously, because it's still threatening and damage wise, but that is a load off my back here. Um, so, I'm trying to think what I want to do to this Thunderous. I'm going to go for the most damage possible with Rotom, because my Rotom has an Expert Belt. So I'm going to go for the uh, Overheat, and then I'm going to switch out into Amoongus to take whatever Mega Kangaskhan's going for. Um, now, I figured it was pretty obvious Thunderous was going to want to target my Suicune, uh, and I, would wanna, I wanted to just burn the Citrus Berry uh, with Rotom. Now, he could have gone for a Hidden Power Ice onto my uh, Amoongus, and that would have been actually pretty scary. It would have done a nice chunk. Uh, double Edge doesn't do that much, thanks to the burn. Uh, and then the Rocky Helmet plus burn is going to take him out, which is nice. I lose about half my HP on Amoongus, and I'm not too concerned by that, uh, considering it does have Regenerator. Um, so, his Mega Kangaskhan's out, so I'm up 3-2, and he, uh, I'm going to overheat his uh, Thunderous, and that's going to do a hefty bit of damage and force the Citrus Berry to be burned. So... 
Depending on what his last Pokemon in basically determines what kind of situation I'm in. I know Amoongus is 100% uh, good in this scenario, though. So he sends out Heatran. Uh, and I thought for a little while here, what do I want to do against this Heatran? And I decide the best move is to Volt Switch out with Rotom, get some more damage on Thunderous, and protect Amoongus. Because what I wanted to do, because I knew the Heatran was gonna, um, I knew the Heatran was gonna Heat Wave, and I knew Rotom would go after the uh, Thunderous, so Suicune would not be in any uh, amount of damage, like risk of taking damage. So Rotom takes a decent chunk from that Heat Wave, actually, more than I'd like, and I Volt Switch out of there. Uh, it doesn't do too much because of the uh, overheat loss uh, from special attack, but then I send in Suicune. And uh, Suicune is very, very threatening to the Heatran. And the plan here is since Heatran's his last Pokemon, um, I want to use Rage Powder on uh, Amoongus to force Thunderous to hit the Amoongus, and I'll use Scald, or uh, not Scald, I'll use Ice Beam to finish off Thunderous and keep Suicune safe from all damage except the. Um, Heat Wave, because Heat Wave, uh, while my Suicune is not specially bulky, uh, like special defensive bulky, uh, it will not take much from a spread heat, uh, heat Wave, even though Heat Tran is actually very powerful uh, in terms of its special attack and stat. So Thunderous goes for a Thunderbolt, as I thought, and Amoongus takes it actually pretty well because it's not very effective. However, Heat Wave is definitely going to kill the Amoongus. And I only Rage Powdered just to make sure Suicune would not take any damage from this Thunderous. Because once this Thunderous is out of the picture, there's pretty much no way I can lose this match. Um, because it's 2 versus 1 against Heatran, uh, and Rotom and Suicune will do a hefty amount of damage to the Heatran. So, send in Rotom because he's my only choice. Amoongus is dead, uh, but his death is not in vain. So Suicune's going to use uh, Skull... Scald here, and Rotom is going to use Thunderbolt. I love Rotom's little happy face, it's so cute. So, actually, I got lucky here this turn because Suicune gets missed by Heat Wave, my Thunderbolt from the Rotom crits, and then I kill it with Scald. Although, uh, if I'm being completely honest, the Heatran had nothing it could do. Um, it was not capable of killing Suicune, even if he was capable of killing Rotom. Um, yeah. So, that's the end of the battle. Thank you guys for watching, uh, I'd appreciate it if you could give me a like, comment, and a sub, and if you want, you could check out some of my other content by clicking a few of these links in the uh, little outro. Alright, see you guys later.